Let's review math, grade 4, module 3, lesson 37. Multi-digit multiplication and division. Topic H, multiplication of two-digit by two-digit numbers. Let's solve 26 times 35 using partial products. Okay, so I'm going to begin by looking at 35 times 26 and thinking about them on an area model. So I'm going to first start with 35. And I'm going to think about how 35 can be broken up into 30 and 5. Now I'm going to look at 26. I can break 26 up into 20 and 6. The reason I put the 6 here instead of on the bottom here is because I want to begin with my 1's place. And this 6 is going to be where I start my multiplication. So I want to make sure that I begin with the 6. Okay, so now that I've separated 35 and I've separated 26, I need to separate my area model. Now I can figure out the area of this section of my area model. 6 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Now I'm going to move to this side. 30 times 6. Or 3 tens times 6. 3 tens times 6 is 18 tens. 18 tens is equal to 180. Now I'm going to come and do this portion of my area model. 20 times 5 or 20 times 2 tens. 20 times 2 tens would be 100 or 10 tens. Now I'm going to do this section. 30 times 20. I can think of it as 3 tens times 2 tens. 10 times 10 is 100. 2 times 3 is 6. So my product is 600. Now. I'm going to show this with partial products, but I'm going to I'm going to like do a little adding first. Take a look at these numbers. When I multiplied 35, which is up here, by 6, if I were to add this together right now, I would get 210. And for this part down here, I multiplied 35 by 20. So if I were to add these two together, I would get a total of 700. Now, with this in mind, let's see how our partial products work. With this partial product, I'm multiplying 6 times 35. Well, I've already multiplied 6 times 35 here. And when I put these two together, I get 210. On this next one, I'm multiplying 20 times 35. When I multiply 20 times 35, I got 600 plus 100, which is 700. When I add those things together, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 7 plus 2 is 9. I got a total of 910. And if I add these together, I'm going to get a total of 910. Okay, so let's look at something from the problem set. We're going to solve 14 times 12 using partial products, using four partial products, and using two partial products. Remember to think in terms of units as you solve. Write an expression to find the area of each smaller rectangle in the area model. Okay. So let's look at our first area model over on this side. I'm going to figure out the area of this one first. So this would be 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to put that here. 4 1's times 2 1's is 8 1's. 
and I'm going to put it like right there. Now I'm going to do this section of the rectangle. 4 times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. So 4 ones times 1 10 is 40. Let's take a look at this section of the rectangle. This is 2 and 10. So this is 10 times 2. 10 times 2 is 20. So 1 10 times 2 ones is 20. And this last section of our rectangle is 10 times 10. 1 10 times 1 10, that's 100. So let's take this and move over to this rectangle. This one is 4 times 12. It's the same as this because 10 plus 2 equals 12. It's just this time we're not breaking this apart. So 4 times 12 would go in here. And 4 times 12 is 48. So I'm going to put that here. 4 ones times 12 ones is 48. Now I'm going to figure out this area. 10 times 12. 10 times 12 is 120. So I'm going to put that here. 110 times 12 ones is 120, or 12 tens. Okay, so now I can add these things up. 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 0 is 1. So it's 168. Let's take a look at this one. 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 0 is 1. So this one is 168 as well. And if you take a look at what we did, we put 40 and 8 together. We put these together and they gave us this part. Then we did 10 times 12 which gave us all of this which gave us these which is this. Okay, that's going to take care of lesson 37. We've been transitioning from, from four partial products to the standard algorithm for two-digit by two-digit multiplication. If you want to see the collection of all of the videos, you can go to tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4. You can also go to lpssonline.com, go to Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, click on the grade level you want. In this case, we're working with fourth grade. Um, and here's our parent newsletters. If we're right now, we're in topic H. So if you click on that H, you'll get our newsletter and it can help with, you know, the terms and things like that and strategies we're using. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you can find more helpful videos.